What's good, y'all? Baby Boy Da Vinci, aka Zudavon. I got it. Nigga, Hungry Chronicles. Back at it. I know niggas was lacking for a little long, but we really back at it this time. I'm gonna stop playing with y'all. You know, it's been a lot of little obstacles. You already know COVID. Uh, my, my editor wasn't working. So, you know, this is a special episode. In and out. We had to pull up one time. I've been trying to drop an episode for In and Out, do an In and Out episode to put niggas on that ain't out here. I'm gonna really show y'all how to do In and Out the right way. As an In and Out OG professional, I'm gonna put y'all on. All right, I'm gonna talk about the secret menus, all the shit. So let's get this shit started. You feel me? I pulled up to the In and Out on Sunrise in uh, 50. Sunrise in Coloma in Rancho Cordova, Sacramento, California, to be specific. And we finna get it popping, man. All right, so first thing I want to show y'all is the line. It's the line right here in the drive through It's always like this. It's going around the corner, around the fence. And you know what I'm saying? Everywhere been had a long ass line because of COVID. But in and out be having a line regularly. So there's some regular shit at in and out. Yeah, yeah, man. So the lines is regular even through COVID. You feel me? Even before COVID, I mean. The line's been regular, but shit, yeah, you know how to go and put my little bootleg mask on. And uh, we finna bust down one time properly at In-N-Out, the proper In-N-Out bust down. Palm trees and some other shit, man. Palm trees and animal fries. Yeah, that's right, animal fries. Secret menu. I'm about to put y'all on, man. Look. Y'all see the regular menu. And then they don't tell you this, but you could get unlimited amount of patties on your burger. And anything after the double double is the three by three, the four by four, the five by five, the six by six, the hundred by a hundred. And you could get animal style fries and Neapolitan steaks and all this shit. Pretty much get any combination of whatever you want, and they'll do it. And the only way to find out about the new menu items is through word of mouth of other people that tried to buy shit. So, y'all finna see what I'm about to order. So, the, the cashier got a problem with hearing, I don't know what it is. He don't seem like he got an odor or nothing, I don't know why he can't hear, but regardless of that, I ordered the, uh, so you could get the double double meal. I wasn't too crazy hungry today right now. Normally I get the four by four. Today I got the three by three meal. The animal style fries and the Neapolitan shake. And you could go, you could always go regular. You know, you go get the regular thing, get the regular burger, regular fries. But the animal style fries is cheese and thousand island dressing with grilled onions. And, uh, you know, a lot of people don't like it, but everybody uh, is in and out. You got to have animal style fries. And then the burger, you know, you can get your three by three, you can get the burger animal style too, but I don't be liking animal style thousand dollar dressing on my burger because it be dripping a lot. So, yeah, y'all gonna see the bus down there. Animal style is what you want, though. You always got to get the animal style fries with your shit. Do we all right? I'm not definitely go out with my gold teeth, sipping on lean, trying to cheat here, so true out. My gold teeth, yeah, sipping on lean. Even when I serve, I don't spill on my jeans. Better pay it right, yeah, it's a guy D. Smoking on gas, like a hung on stick. My gold teeth, yeah, sipping on lean. Even when I serve, I don't spill on my jeans. Better pay it right, yeah, it's a guy D. Right. We still gonna enjoy our heat. Oh, yeah, and I got my new parts to shake. I just fucking dropped my shit. Next to some, some Caucasian children. But it's so good. She's smoking a bike down over here in the tub. Mm, that's good. Yeah, part to say that's strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla mixed together. I'm gonna bust down on this two by three. I should have got a four by four. No me, that's what I get. That's still hard to take down sometimes. But yeah, you see the bus down, man, in and out. Don't say I ain't tell you. So 
Oh yeah, man. A lot been going on. Um, I'm finally launched my my art company. And my art company is responsible for labels such as Wildlife PNT. There's any music and merchandise that comes out of that. And it's also responsible for our clothing company, Baby Boy Fashion, which basically is the shirts that I make. Put my artwork on it, and I'm selling. And a couple of my first pieces that are, uh, oh, it was inspired by the protest. This one specifically, you don't know about it. You hit on it. Um, you can follow my art page, Baby Boy Productions, to stay up to date on all the new releases and any merchandise or new art or music. You feel me? But, yeah, the first couple of pieces was inspired by protest, and, you know, I generated over two thousand dollars within the first couple of weeks because really within the first week because uh, of all the support that the protest was getting downtown. And so I would just be downtown, hold my shirt up, be out there for like three hours, get rid of all my shirts every day, selling for forty dollars. So. I've just been working for me. Well, I work at a job. If I'm capable of making two thousand dollars in a week, off my own creation. But that's what I've been trying to tell everybody. We got a lot of new shit coming. Uh, new music on the way. Check out Lil Luke, the True Bounce Out. He's dropping his new project. His first album at 500 followers. We're gonna really blow it up. We need uh, all types of support. You feel me? He ain't never released before. He ain't never dropped no, no real official project. So, you know, we need to get as much support as we can before we drop it. Uh, Cold Summer's coming soon. And then I'm dropping my album as soon as possible. I just need to get it mixed, but and I need to get a cover. But family oriented, these are both dropping this year. And uh, just keep subscribing. You know what I'm saying? Keep keep running up our videos and the music that we have already out right now. And uh, we're gonna have some full length projects coming for you soon. My skate team ain't so strong right now. It's just me and my little cousin. I'ma send some shout out to my boy Buddy. He's staying in South Carolina right now. He also on the skate team. He will be. He will be no matter what, you know. But um, yeah, you feel me? So, but, but look out for my little cousin. He dropping a part soon. Darnell Raymond, you know what I'm saying? Pro writer for Wildlife here too. Wildlife skateboards on the way. Oh, yeah, man. Fuck you. DJ Camp. We just waiting on one song to get mixed and we dropping Camp Talk one. Second mixtape. First of the series though. Got a lot of bangers on there for you. And then 
I'm starting a new art collection called the Identifier of Black Readers, themed around highlighting influential, uh, uplifting members of our black community. And um, there's gonna be a physical series on campus and paper and frame. But they're also gonna be on shirts too. So tap in. I'm just gonna build up my resume, my portfolio. I'm gonna build it up. And then y'all can hire me to come work for y'all. Paint. Paint murals for commission. And I'm gonna have art shows. Food just killed the burger. With the burger. I always like getting the cheese out. I don't know. Don't judge me. I'm getting the cheese off this shit, man. She be good in the motherfucker. But yeah, man, so a lot of shit on the way. My birthday coming up. I'm gonna be in Vegas, man. I'm about to be 27. Fuck. So much to do But the cold party is What did I do on my 26th birthday? I think I was uh, I think I was in Virginia last year Rest in peace my Uncle Diamond I was up in Virginia on my 26th birthday. And, uh, oh, just getting started. Just starting to figure out what to do with my life. Now, since then, I got a direction and I'm staying in that path. Um, yeah, man. By, the, by this time next year, I should have my own spot. And I should have, like, you know, at least up in 50K for the weather. Put money down on the house or some property. I have my LLC for Daddy Boy Production, and that's how I'll be making the majority of my money. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a running business. And I'm gonna own some money, own some, own some type of property. This time, this time next year, y'all gonna see, man. Keep doing the music. Then they're going to tour with it. If COVID allows it, if God, God willing. But in the meantime, if you don't go on tour, it don't matter. We're just gonna keep releasing shit. We're just gonna keep hearing from her. And we're just gonna uh, circle, circle the block a couple times again. Then we're just gonna establish our presence in our home cities. And then after that, we're gonna do it around the world. In November, I'm going to New York. I'm about to couple days in New York. Chop in with my New York niggas. We're gonna go out there, get to work on some shit. And uh, 
next year we trying to go to Japan too. Shout out my nigga Kazu, shout out my nigga Savvy. You know, so I'm the moves, but my goal is next year. I ain't even mad, you feel me? I'm about to be 27. Party got my own business. You see, I get my LLC. Put too many down on some property. And my life on track. I might go back to school. Just remember, you don't need school. Experience is the best teacher. And you could always do your own research. It's just as good. Just as good as they, the degree that they can give you. College is only good if you try to write for somebody. But, uh, you know. I just want to be able to say I'm college educated and that I have a, that I have a degree. Think about going for agriculture or environmental studies. I've been doing agriculture because I've been growing. I've been growing all type of shit, food, cannabis. My mind, my company. My businesses, you know. <laughs> so a lot of shit in the works. Uh, you know, I'm 27. My life didn't go how I expected it, but I ain't 27 yet. First of all, I'm a person 27. My life didn't go how I expected it, but. I, I really wouldn't change most shit. I'll probably change a couple little things here and there. But I wouldn't change most shit. Because I had to learn the game. And I learned it first year. And why I ain't learned it the way I learned it, I could, I could, I could still be, getting, be out there getting tricked. You know? The front door over there. Around the corner. Mm -hmm. yeah. I hope he's not college educated. Because if he is, I'll just call somebody that was college educated. Figure some shit out for him that he couldn't figure out. Anyway. You see the motherfucking plate. Yeah. You know you gotta have your all-American Coca-Cola with your burgers and your fries. I ain't gonna lie, it's gonna be one of the last few times you see me eat in and out. I might have it once in a while. But I'm gonna go vegan pretty soon. They're mainly plant-based. This meat shit. Really be doing a number on this. But yeah, man, another episode of Henry Chronicles. In and out, baby boy Da Vinci. I got the three by three meal, animal style fries, Neapolitan shake with a Coca Cola. So that motherfucker. Some regular shit. Cost me less than fifteen dollars. It was like fourteen is some change. For everything I got. <sighs> Shit is delicious. But yeah, I mean, I just want to end on this. Uh, you know, free your mind, free yourself, and help other people become free too. 
in order to do that. Think for yourself. Declare independence. Don't depend on nobody. And support your neighbor that's trying to support themselves. If they're trying to support themselves. They want to just start their own businesses and boycott these other businesses. Like in and out but in and out smart. But in and out doing better for us than McDonald's and shit. So boycott, like McDonald's, Starbucks, Walmart, boycott the government. Fuck all that shit, man. But vote locally. Vote for local laws to pass that could benefit the community. And that the main thing is, man, let's keep that let's keep the currency and the income flowing within our hands of the community and, and not leaving our community and going outside of the community. Let's help build each other shit up. You feel me? Anyway, it's been another episode of the Honey Chronicles. Tune in every Sunday. Be back in this bitch, man. Shoot a vine. Baby boy, the bitch. Peace. Smoke, yeah. No, they need to stop. Ay, buy a pack of woods and I load me up a chop.